So now I'm going to work through the Codility exercises starting at exercise one and task one. It's called longest password. So let's get straight into it. Okay, you'd like to set a password for bank account. However, there are three restrictions on the format of the password. It has to contain only alphanumerical characters. So either A to Z lowercase, A to Z uppercase, or zero to nine. There should be an even number of letters and there should be an odd number of digits. You're given a string S consisting of N characters. String S can be divided into words by splitting it at and removing the spaces. The goal is to choose the longest word that's a valid password. You can assume that if there are K spaces in string S, then there are exactly K plus one words. Okay, for example, given test five, a zero a pass double o, well, this string here there are five words and three of them are valid passwords five is a valid password a zero a and pass double o seven so long as password is pass double o seven and its length is seven note that test and question mark x y one neither of those are valid passwords because question mark is not an alphanumerical character and test contains an even number of digits zero okay write a function that given a non-empty string s consisting of n characters returns the length of the longest word from the string that is a valid password if there's no such word your function should return minus one. Okay. Um, assume that n is an integer in the range of one to 200. So that is the length of the string. It's really not very much at all. String S contains only printable ASCII characters and spaces. So it's not got any new lines or anything strange like that. In the solution, focus on correctness. The performance will not be the focus of the assessment. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, prepare the class. And I've put in their example string. Uh, now I don't need to worry about efficiency at all. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is split the string at spaces. So we'll convert this one string into little strings representing one word at a time. So to do that, I'll do string array words equals s dot split at space. And our words should be a string array. The first one's test. The next one's five. The next one's a zero a. The next one's pass double o seven. And the last one is question mark x y one. So. At this point, I'm going to say in longest word equals minus one. Now that is going to be what we're going to return. It said if we don't find a word, then return minus one. Now, I think I just need to test to see if a word is valid. Um, I'm going to make another method, public boolean check word. And that's going to return true if the word is a valid password and false if it isn't. So here I'll say if check word, oh no, I say for each word, for each word in words, if check word, so if check word returns true, then longest word equals 
the maximum of what it currently is and word dot length so in other words if for each word that we've got test 5 a0a a, etc we'll check it if it returns true because it's a valid password we'll set the longest word variable to be the maximum of what it currently is or the word length so in other words if the word length is longer than longest word set longest word to be that so that's the same as saying if word dot length is greater than longest word longest word equals word dot length okay so now i just need to implement the check word method so for that i'm going to look at each character in the word so for i go from index of zero i is that some word length i plus plus so word char at i char c equals the character at position i if c so to test if it's a letter i'll say if it's uppercase or lowercase if it's uppercase or character is lowercase then it's a letter if character is digit then it's a digit so I'm gonna say if it's a letter do something if it's a digit do something else return false because it said in the exercise description that it could only contain letters and numbers okay so at the start I'm gonna say int letter count is zero and int number count equals zero if it's a letter I'm gonna add one onto letter count if it's a number I'm gonna add one onto number count And finally, for it to be a valid password, we need an even number of letters and an odd number of digits. So if I say if letter count mod two, actually here I can say return letter count mod two equals zero and number count mod 2 equals 1 so I'm saying the remainder of number count divided by 2 equals 1 that's really a way of saying it's odd and the remainder of letter count divided by 2 equals 0 so that's saying that it's even so um, I'm going to do some extra tests on this just to make sure I haven't made a mistake but I'll just try and run this and see if it comes up with seven it's got seven uh, but I'm going to just do another test um, so one two three four five six one two three so that's a valid word and it's got nine letters in it if I give it the an odd number of letters it shouldn't work and if I give it an even number of digits it shouldn't work so the answer to this should be nine and it works I think I think it's I think that's it uh, I'm just going to put a pound sign in there to ruin it. So now the answer should be minus one. Yeah, that's right. So I think that's it. So I'm going to submit that. It's 
it's an easy one so not too difficult I'll submit that and see how it does and 100% so that was a nice e easy task to start off the exercises so that's my solution to Codility's longest password. Thanks for watching.